Hello, I will be going over some elf products that I purchased. I want to talk about this elf blush first. It's called Chico Pink. And let me do a swatch. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's very pigmented. And it's a nice soft pink color. So if you want a blush that isn't overwhelming and too bold, I would recommend this. It lasts all day, and it's from the Studio Collection, so it's $3. So, so this is definitely worth the purchase. The next item that I would like to talk about is the e.l.f. eyeliner, and I have it in the color Coffee. And I noticed that e.l.f. in Proof their eyeliner applicator. If I remember correctly, the eyeliner applicator used to be a lot thicker and they changed it and made it thinner. And the length is the same as the old eyeliner applicator, but this one is it allows you to apply your eyeliner a lot better. So I am very pleased that they changed this. And I would definitely recommend this as well. And this lasts all day. I don't have any problems with it coming off. I know some people have mentioned that their e.l.f. eyeliner doesn't last too long, but but if you do have that problem, you can just use some eye primer and it should it should fix the problem. And the next item is this e.l.f. lip gloss. It's super glossy lip shine. Now, this lip gloss, it only serves the purpose of moisturizing your lips. It really provides little color. Uh, here is watch of it. And um, as far as how long it lasts, it comes off pretty quickly too. But like I said, if you just want something to moisturize your lips, um, it's worth the money. And I believe it was only a dollar. The next item that I want to talk about is the e.l.f. bronzer in Sunkist. And I really like this bronzer. I think it complements my complexion really well. And it lasts all day, which is also a good thing. And I would recommend this bronzer as well. And here's a swatch of it. And the next item is the e.l.f pressed powder in honey. Now, this was a dollar, and you get a good amount of product for a dollar. It does not give you much coverage, so you couldn't wear it alone if you wanted to. And it doesn't break me out or anything. And it, uh, it lasts all day, which is another good thing. But like I said, it doesn't give you a lot of coverage. So if you're looking for something with a lot of coverage, um, I wouldn't recommend it. But otherwise, it, it's good. And I also picked up an e.l.f. eye primer. And it, it um, doesn't smell bad. It just smells like, it reminds me of medicine. And um, it uh, it works as well. It serves its purpose. It uh, allows my eyeshadow to last longer. And for a dollar, you really couldn't ask for more. And if you are looking for a cheap eyelid primer, I would recommend this. Other than the unusual smell, it um, it's a good product. And the next is the e.l.f. palette in butternut. And um, I like this palette. It's made up of neutrals, as you can see. The only thing, um, and, and the colors show up well. My only complaint with the palette is, is the colors tend to disappear if you try to work with them too much. And um, that's the only 
complaint I have with this. It, um, as I said, if you plan to do a lot of blending or if you plan to play with the colors a lot and um, it, it just, it really, they disappear and they fade, they fade away. And the next palette that I have is called Heal Dream. And this, this is made up of blue and green and a silver and a, I guess it's a white. And I like the colors in this and this, this can be used to create a really nice nighttime look or you can just work with maybe the blue and the silver and the, the white to create a day look. Um, again, the colors appear really well on the eyelid, but they just, they aren't made for a lot of blending. It is for a dollar, so there you go. Um, I do like the, both palettes, and I would purchase them again. And that pretty much completes my e.l.f. product review. If have any comments or questions, you can leave them below. Thank you. Bye.